Good morning, it's Kate here, mynaturalhappiness.com, Reading School of Reiki, helping you go from hamster wheel to happiness. So um, I am outside having my morning brew under my arbor, and um, in my pajamas still, it's that kind of morning, and I just thought I would do my video because it's so beautiful out here, it's an absolutely glorious day. Um, I'm hoping the sound works, I shall play back and find out. It's just beautiful and I thought, what a lovely day to bring some sunshine, chilled out energy across the ether to you guys when you watch this video. Um, I know different people watch this, these videos at different times and sometimes, you know, after a long day at work, to just hear the birds sing is magical. And on cue. I'm very blessed to be surrounded by so much nature. I could just let you listen to that, couldn't I? Um, so I hope you've had a magical week. Mine has been beautiful. Um, I'm so blessed. Again, so many amazing people come and see me. And Yesterday I had amazing clients come through once again. So I'm just very, very blessed to do what I do. So thank you so much for being you first brew of the morning as well so all about the morning brew before I start work I just thought I'd share this with you so I'm starting a bit earlier than normal so I pulled out a card for the week as always for those watching the video and as I was coming outside I was drawn to pull out a different set of cards and I don't think I've shared these ones with you they're another gift from an amazing lady amazing client student and friend um, and uh, so very different to the other ones and they're the Tree Angel Oracle so very different and as I was outside doing this video it felt very appropriate to do um, to bring in the trees and the angels from the outside the tree spirits, the angels and the card that was pulled there is a beautiful book that comes with it the card that was pulled is Myrrh which I, at first I thought well that's a bit odd Myrrh is usually uh, associated with the winter solstice time. And, um, and then I read what it says, and then it made perfect sense. So our card for the week, for those watching the video, is Myrrh. Hello. About to be joined by a cat as well. They do like to sit in the sun. Sorry, darling, do you want me to move? I'll move the cards. Crazy cat lady too. I'll move the cards. The cat can jump up, you see. So... Myrrh. The message from Myrrh is be aroused, divert, devoted heart, and send a prayer. It is time to give thanks and send blessings to all creation. Love climbs even higher than the smoke and wraps the earth entire as wide as the heart. How beautiful is that? It's just absolutely perfect with everything that's been going on the message is to send a prayer and be give thanks send blessings to all creation because love climbs even higher than the smoke and wraps the earth entire as wide as the heart I just thought that was so beautiful after everything I read in the papers of what's going on a reminder that love always conquers <coughs> And it's yeah, history has proven proven to that to be true. Great. More tea. You are joining me for my morning brew. For which I'm blessed. <laughs> so, uh, in terms of what it says, there is a lot of writing in this book, so beautiful. So I shall I shall read out the the messages. So in, in the physical world, myrrh is an unusual plant that only flourishes on the south coast of the Arabian Peninsula, now Yemen and Oman, as a gnarled shrub, but its angelic presence is everywhere. If the trunk is injured or purposefully scratched, a milky substance is released that immediately crystallizes into a golden yellow coloured clump known as myrrh or incense. This substance has been used since uh, immemorial, immemorial, I can't pronounce that word, one cup of tea only so far, 
<laughs> Immemorial. There you go. It's, it's across two lines, that's my excuse. As an offering in rituals. As soon as the camel was domesticated, around 2000 BC, long caravans began to cross the huge Arabian desert in order to de de deliver myrrh and other goods, such as precious stones and Indian spices, to the Israeli and Phoenician ports. In this way, incense found its way into all temples, centres of worship, and tombs of antiquity. Antiqu <laughs> Maybe I should never do um, a video before I've actually had my first cup of tea. Antiquity. No, I'm just going to give up with that one. You know what I mean. Um, to Delphi in Greece. I hope you're laughing with me here or not. You can laugh at me, it's fine. <laughs> Delphi in Greece and the sun temples in Egypt. Even in the Celtic grave of Hochdorf in southern Germany, people have long built burnt myrrh in order to honour the gods. The dark, bitter sense of myrrh releases us from the everyday world and opens our higher senses to the spiritual realm. Myrrh encourages our depth of contact with the unseen and increases our devotion to, to the divine. By doing so, it helps us create a bridge between the profane and the spiritual. The history of its trade is an excellent example of how a tree angel can fulfil its task with great scope in its work with human beings. The mentor of the Murray's angel is Mercury, who of course is also the god of trade, as well as being the winged messenger between God and humans. It just gets better and better, doesn't it? It really does. I, that, there was a, something that came through there, so I hope the video continued. Yep, 7.03, so we're all really good. I'm reading more than I expected, but actually I think it may resonate with some people. If not, you can stop the video, it's all good. Burn incense, which today is a mixture of different materials, pure myrrh resin, concentrated sage or sacred tobacco. It, de it completely depends on the tradition that you follow, otherwise light adjustic. Cigarettes don't count because the habit and addiction are the opposite of devotion. Allow your prayers to rise up with the smoke, give thanks and blessing. If we don't cultivate, cultivate great gratitude, we become arrogant and egotistical, proud and self-satisfied. We humans become, there's another very long word coming up, anthropocentric, <laughs> it's all on one line that one, it's a lot easier, and raise ourselves up to the crowning achievement of creation and leave in our wake the extinction of other species. How perfect is this with news of late, um, without this tree's smoky breath. We won't have... Um, long have any of our own and I think that's so I think the reason this resonated with me so much is that you know with all the just horrendousness that's going on around the globe and it's hard it's easy to be drawn into all of that and actually for me the most important thing is gratitude and love and changing things that we can and sending out love to the world and it's very easy that if we get caught up in things that are going on around the globe and they are horrific and I do feel you know we can we can do what we can do and when it's easy for us to become very depressed down and and into a feeling of inertia and actually by raising our vibrations higher we can do more sh to shift things because we can stay in a positive mindset to take action from a positive place as opposed to just the depths of depression um, and so gratitude to me has become the most important thing we've got a beautiful clock that's now chiming away it's perfect um so yeah um so for me recently my baby girls just jumped up uh, beside me hence my distraction here for me 
From a point of gratitude and raising our vibrations on a daily basis, we can start to change the wave of consciousness. This is very deep, and I can talk about it in much more depth for anybody that is interested, really. Um, and it's just me, on my own, with my experiences. And so I'm not saying I'm right, it's just my take on this, and this card just confirmed things for me. But by raising our own vibrations and mediating love out to the world, we can really help shift things on an energetic level, which I think is just the most important thing in the world. Um, history has shown us. So, very deep, deep card that I wasn't expecting. And the, in terms of, uh, I know a few of my clients that have been on courses will smile at this sentence. In terms of the macrocosm affecting the microcosm and the microcosm affecting the macrocosm of everything, on our little microcosm, if we can stop and be grateful about what's going well in our lives, we can raise our vibrations and start to shift things. So I think the message that I'm receiving from this is time to give thanks and send blessings to all creation. Love climbs even higher than the smoke and wraps the earth entire as wide as the heart. And uh, yeah, so um, that's the message, it's time to give thanks. So I guess the message is to give thanks about what's going on in your world. What are you grateful for right now? Um, it might be that you're grateful for a cup of tea, it might be that you're grateful for the weekend, it might be grateful that, um, that you're watching this video and hearing the bird song. It might be so many different things. They, they, you know, just think about gratitude. And one of the things I started doing a couple of years ago actually is a gratitude journal. And um, just thinking of all the things that I'm grateful for. And so if that calls to you, then I suggest just you know, a diary, video journal, whatever works for you. Just on a daily basis, think of three things that you're grateful for and you start to find the positive. This video has lasted a lot longer than I expected. I hope that uh, you are well. Thank you so much if you've got to 12 minutes 23 seconds with me. I really appreciate your you watching this video. Thank you so much. Enjoy your weekend so much. I hope you've enjoyed having a morning brew with me. Have a beautiful, blissful day. An amazing, amazing weekend enjoy so much and thank you so much for being a part of my life and one of the things i'm grateful for is the people watching this video so uh, that's my gratitude thank you so much take care Mwah. have an amazing amazing weekend with so much love kate mynaturalhappiness.com reading school of reiki helping you go from hamster to happiness have a great weekend